What is up everyone, PWG here, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to balance the ball on your head. The head stall is a simple yet impressive looking move that you can either do as a part of an upper combo or as a show off move at your team's warm up. There are several different ways that you can do the head stall, so let's go through the steps of the basic one. In theory, the head stall is very, very easy. All you have to do is balance the ball on your forehead, but it's way easier said than done. So let's start off with the positioning. Stand with your feet quite wide and your knees flexible. Now you wanna turn your face upwards to keep your forehead level and plain. And then you wanna keep your back a little bit backwards and place the ball on the forehead and try to balance it for as long as you can. The most common mistake that people do is when they lose control, they try to correct it by doing a big sudden movement, but that only makes things worse because now you're even more off position and off balance. So try to make more small, subtle movements instead of big, sudden movements. To make the head stall look more stylish and effortless, try to keep your hands down as a lot of people want to keep their hands up like this to keep more balance. When you got the balance for you, you can step it up by either throwing it from your hands, from footstall, or from juggling. Now this takes a lot of trial and error and will probably take some time to learn, but as long as you follow the steps, you will get it in the end. If you think that the head stall is too difficult for you, you can try to balance the ball on the top of your nose instead. It's not as stylish, but it's definitely easier. But if you think that this is too easy for you, you can try some of these variations. Let's summarize everything. Feet wide, knees flexible, lean back, face upwards, small, subtle movements. If you got all of these steps down to a T, you're good to go. So that was it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a thumbs up and a comment down below on what trick or move you want me to teach you guys next time. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the playlist down below for more tutorials. And I'll see you guys next time.